Recently, I had the chance to visit London for a few days. It was an incredible experience, both from a traveling and a photography point of view. Contrary to what I had expected before the trip, the weather was incredibly sunny during the four days that I was there, so I decided to shoot exclusively during and a little bit before golden hour. This meant that I had to cover a lot of ground in a relatively short span of time in order to capture as many cool photos as I could, which can be quite challenging if you don't know what to keep an eye out for. So, in this video I decided to compile a few tips and tricks that you can use to take full advantage of your time in a new city. Now, of course, every single city is different, but the techniques that I'll be sharing with you in this video can be used more or less anywhere. Also, you can use these photography techniques in other areas of photography as well, but in this video we're only going to be talking about urban photography and most of the photos that I'll be bringing up as examples will be from my London trip. So, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to be talking about is symmetry. And symmetry is actually one of the most important aspects of urban photography, because by its very definition, urban photography oftentimes concerns itself with architecture, which is more often than not a symmetrical art form. Of course, there are exceptions, but generally buildings will be symmetrical and cityscapes and roads will be symmetrical as well. So whenever you visit a new city that you've never been to before, I would recommend that you keep an eye out for symmetry, just like I did in these photographs, because a balanced composition is something that you can never go wrong with. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about, and I'm just looking at a few photos here on my phone, is changing up your perspective. Shooting all your photos from eye level can get really boring really fast, so my advice to you is to get down to the level of the ground and take photos from a low angle as well. This will allow you to capture unique compositions and to portray the city from a slightly less boring perspective. Taking photos from a low angle will also depict scale in your photos, which can help with storytelling and can make your images more interesting. Now the first thing that I want to talk about is using public transportation to your advantage. So when time is of the essence and you are really just rushing through a city and you want to take as many photos as you can, it might be a good idea to hop on a bus from time to time. But at this point you might say to me, hey Mate, I can't take photos while I'm on a bus. And to that I would say, really? Can't you? The thing is you can actually very easily do that. You can shoot through the windows and it actually might give you some interesting results and it might give you some interesting photos. The following photos, for example, were all taken from the upper deck of a double-decker bus. The elevated perspective of this shot actually gives the photo a bit more depth as I'm almost on eye level with the skyscrapers in the far background. And I also got lucky because this girl in the red dress just crossed the street as I was taking this photo and so now I also have some kind of subject matter. In the second photo I used the side of the bus to create a cool reflection. It's very subtle, a lot of people might not even notice it, but once again it adds a bit more detail to the photo. And finally, in this third image, I actually included quite a bit from the structure of the bus, once again adding a bit of depth to the photo and ultimately creating a very cinematic image. Public transportation vehicles can also be used as subjects, it might just be me, but I love taking photos of underground trains and subway stations as well. Alright, and the last tip that I have for you, which is kind of a cliche bullshit, is to just take photos of everything. Just take photos of as many things as you can. One of the biggest mistakes that you can make when exploring a new city is to not take enough photos and come home empty-handed. Run and gun photography is all about familiarizing yourself with the feel of the new city and quickly adapting to the new environment. Be very mindful of everything that's going on around you, pay attention to the little details and I guarantee you will be taking some banger shots in no time. Alright guys, so that was it for today. I hope you got something out of this video and if you did, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe if you want to see more videos and definitely follow me on Instagram because that's where you can see most of my work and that's where we can connect the most easily. So if you have any questions or if you just want to talk to me, shoot me a message on Instagram and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, that was it for today and until the next time, see ya.